Hey Lug Nuts, it's me Meredith here. I've got uh, the new puddle jumper that they just released. You were able to buy these on QVC for just under $100 and it was a full size puddle jumper and a puddle jumper packable in a correlating print or a correlating color. So uh, I got the bouquet black in the puddle jumper and the bouquet red was the packable that came with it. So the packable is pretty simple. I think you can go back and see videos I've done on those. So I'm just gonna put that aside and thought I would show you the uh, puddle jumper here. So I just, I have a puddle jumper in Heather Gray and I was just looking at the two to kind of be like, is there any differences? And no, not really, not that I see. If you have a puddle jumper and you see a difference, in the new kind, or you've got both and you can compare and contrast, um, let me know, because they've had different versions come out, but these two, and you can kind of tell which versions they are from the quilting. This is the houndstooth, this is the square. Uh, let me know if you see any differences, because I, in my first like walk through, I didn't see very many. So like I said, this is in the bouquet black. A bouquet black, I think, can be a tricky print, because, uh, on a small wallet, it maybe doesn't translate as well as a big bag. And so on the big bag, I really like it. It's got that houndstooth quilting, which I think helps elevate this, this colorway. Um, and I really like the black background on it because it makes it really kind of subtle, but still feminine and fun. On the front, you've got the three puddle jumper pockets that they're kind of known, that this bag is known for. Oh, and you can see the lining here. You've got, I'd say it's uh, ivory and like a walnut with a mustard and gray and navy polka dots on the inside. Um, so you've got these pockets. I don't know what you use them for, but if you use them, you know exactly what you put in each. I tend to put chapstick, hand sanitizer in one, um, medication in the other. These little flip pockets are a great place to toss uh, membership cards, your hotel room key, I often will have band-aids in one because I've got little children who fall down often. <laughs> so I'm just having a pocket where I go, oh, and here's the band-aid that we need is handy. The front lower pocket has two zippers, opens like so. It's got a cargo pocket with a fleece lining here. And here you can see that print really in like a bigger portion. Um, no other organization on the wall here, but this is a great place to throw your wallet if you um, if you would like. Is it RFID shielded? I do not see an RFID tag. I'm not sure if this bag is RFID shielded. Let me check the... Um, it often says it on the little tag here. Overnight bag. Da, 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 da. It does, I don't see an RFID thing, so this one might not have any RFID shielding. Huh, interesting. Uh, I have lug wallets. They all have RFID shielding, so I don't need any additional RFID shielding. Um, and it could be because there's no card slots. That's why they didn't include the RFID shielding in there, but who knows. Um, above these pockets is what, like, I just kind of figure it's, it's your paper pocket. It's for a magazine. It's for, you can put your iPad in there and it um, has a magnet that keeps it kind of shut. If you're not tipping it around, it's a really easy way. It goes all the way down. This is my elbow, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So a great place just to throw, um, you know, your, your magazine right in there. Above that is a phone pocket. It's fleece lined. You can use it for a phone or sunglasses. I always use it for my phone. I love it having it for my phone. It's, it's one of the reasons I love lug bags. We go around to the sides. You can see that there. Oh, you do this side. There's no tag. Um, you can see that there's cargo pockets. They are pretty good, good size, nice and generous. Here's my daughter's Camelback. Uh, it fits no problem. There's some extra space, so maybe it would fit most water bottles. Um, there's no magnets keeping it in. I like when they have a magnet keeping it tucked in when it's not in use. Let's go around to the back. Okay, you've got an ID window here, and Lug even includes a little card for you to put your information on in there, or you can put any card in there if you'd like to have your information so that you know it's yours. 
Below that is a zipper compartment. There's no internal organization I'm feeling to make sure I'm not missing an RFID tag. Nope. Um, this also is a great place to throw your wallet if you don't want it on the front of the bag because of pickpockets. It's easy to throw it on the back of the bag, so when you're holding it, it's quite convenient. There's also this trolley strap with Velcro. So you can just uh, slide it on top of a roller bag. Um, that makes it super handy. Now this bottom portion, if you're new to lug, this might be something new to you. Um, they call this like the shoe compartment or the swimsuit compartment. It is a separate compartment from the inside that you can toss your shoe in. It is, yeah, okay. It's actually mesh here and the air flows through it. I was just checking because in one of the bags it looks like mesh, but it has like a screen on top of it. So it isn't actually, um, it isn't actually mesh. And this mesh is super fine. Uh, that's why I thought I'm just gonna blow through it. That's the only way I'll know if it actually is, um, is actual mesh that allows air through it. So if you have a swimsuit in there, it's not gonna get everything else in your bag wet. If you have shoes in there, it's not gonna get everything else dirty. And it allows a little airflow so you don't get that, you know, stinky, Ooh, I forgot that swimsuit's been in there for a couple days <laughs> smell. So, and there's double zippers on that compartment too. The nice thing about that compartment is that if you don't use it, um, you know, you can put dirty laundry in it or whatever. Remember, just remember it's see-through, so don't put your underwear on the outside. If you don't use it, this lining just lays down and the space becomes just part of the regular interior. So from the interior then, if you can see, you can even see my, look at my, right blue sweatshirt. Um, so it just lays flat and then I've got the full interior space to use for whatever I need. So it's not as though it's space that's reserved for something and then if you don't use it, it's wasted space, which I think is really, really smart on their, on their um, for them to have thought that through. Okay, here is the strap. It has the shoulder tote straps. The shoulder tote straps um, are just the right size for me. I'm happy with that, I'm 5'9". They do have rubber on the bottom. The top is the regular print. And this fabrication is that slippery classic fabrication. I like it, um, I prefer it over the brush. A lot of people don't like it. So if you, <laughs> if you care, if you don't, that's what it is. Um, the strap does not have any padding on it. It is wide, but it's also adjustable. Um, on a bag like this, I don't usually use the strap. I use it tote, I carry it on my shoulder, then I throw it on a roller bag. Um, putting it on crossbody doesn't make much sense to me because I'm not usually carrying it super long distances on its own. And you have to forgive the little sunshine glow that I'm getting here. <laughs> All right, let's get to the inside. It does open pretty wide here. So when you get here on the back side, it tells you this is a lug puddle jumper. You can see that pretty print here. Um, it has a privacy zip right here on the back. I'm feeling making sure it's not RFID shielded. Nope. You can see at the bottom, here's that shoe compartment um, lining that just lays down if it's not in use. On the front side, way at the top, it has a clip so you can clip your keys right there, uh, which is really great because you know you've parked your car and then flown on an airplane somewhere and then come back and gone, where did I put my keys? <laughs> you know, you haven't needed them for a couple days, where have they gone? And so you can easily just go clip, I know where they are, they're right here. And then you've got a bungee pocket that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, right here just to kind of you can help you separate things on the interior. There's also two little pen pockets right here for you to use as well. So, um, I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not. That's everything. The, uh, the zippers are nice and chunky, too. That's, you know, they don't use tiny zippers because that whole, the whole thing, I mean, look at, it's almost the width of my thumb. It really is nice and chunky. Um, the only, this bag, I mean, is a classic. This is the one that made Lug famous. And the improvement that I would make to this bag is add a key clip so that uh, you don't have to buy a separate clip to clip it in. I'm glad they have the little, the little um, D-ring in the inside. But a matching key fob or key clip 
would be excellent. I would love a matching key fob with this beautiful um, bouquet back black print. Um, the other thing I would do is put have these zippers um, be locking. Uh, so the, and have this compartment with card slots and or RFID shielding. Locking zippers would make it so that if you're traveling and you're carrying this around, you can put your wallet in and feel safe. If they don't want to put locking zippers on, and the Via uh, Tote, uh, they've got this little pocket here. So it's a single zipper, but when you zip it down to the bottom, you take the zipper and tuck it into the tote, and it makes it just a little bit more protected so it looks like that. If you have questions about that, check out my VIA 2 video. I showcase that specifically in there about what that would be like. Otherwise, you know, it's a great bag. Oh, the bottom, wipeable, four feet, you know, the lug way. It's just how they, they're so good at this. They know what they're doing. Did you pick up a puddle jumper? Did you pick up a puddle jumper combo from QVC or lug life recently? Which one did you get? Are you happy with your choice? Do you see any differences between this and former the former Puddle Jumper versions? Uh, is there anything you wish they would do to change it? Please comment. I'd love to hear from you. I always try and respond. And if you like my videos, click like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me, uh, helps YouTube tell, it tells YouTube that people are watching and that they care. And in the future, it helps me make more videos. So it's it'd be really great if you subscribed. Thank you so much. Have a good day.